from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 451, for Thursday, August 11th, 2022. <laughs> this week, we have banter, news, updates, my ink of the week, mossy goodness from Penlux, a hearty appetite, a manyo, manyo restock, a contest winner, a new contest, plus something coming soon from Astrobrook that we absolutely, positively, really, truly, surely <laughs> cannot talk about. <laughs> Hey, Eric. Hey, Brian. You know, uh, you know. Nice the, to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. You know, the, the Marvel movies, the Hulk. Yes. You know, I, I think they're missing a, 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 an opportunity here. I'll I, bet they are. And I, you're going to tell us what it I is. I don't understand why they don't put advertisements on the Hulk. <laughs> it's basically a giant banner. Oh, no. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I think Dave's even laughing about that. <laughs> All right, Mr. Anderson, I think I brought one for you. Okay. Why, Brian, are pediatricians always so annoyed? I don't know. Because they have very little patience. Oh. Oh. Brian. Yes. Should we just skip right to Ink of the Week, or do you want to do it in order? (laughs) I I don't think I have a choice, really. (laughs) You do. You're the boss, but we'll do location bumper uh, because for the second week in a row, you've actually seen the video. Yes, that is play, well, that, like that played during the uh, intro three minutes ago. But you saw it. Yes, yes. Past tense. You saw it. It was the Fox Cities Exhibition Center, which you have never been to. No, and I have never been to, but I've been under that bridge. Yep, many times. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Fox Cities Exhibition Center opened in 2018. The Fox Cities Exhibition Center is a multi-purpose convention center located in the city of Appleton. They call it Fox Cities, but it's really mm-hmm. it's two Appleton. blocks yep, that way. Yeah, it's very <laughs> two close. Blocks. Um, the center is owned by, get this, the city of Appleton and is opera- operated by the connected Hilton Paper Valley Hotel. So uh, you saw the bridge there. One mm-hmm. side is the convention center. The other side is the hotel that is now a Hilton. Um, Which I love. Can you yeah. say pen show potential? Absolutely. Yeah. Are you going to organize it? Let's do it. We'll, we'll he, pick didn't, up. he didn't say yes. He said let's, <laughs> let's do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look into it. Um, I, I don't even know how much space they have. Do we need a pen show? I mean, we have, we have this. Yeah, anytime you want. Here's a pen show. Uh, only closed on Sundays. Reminder for all of us, August is National Wellness Month. Mm-hmm. National Wellness Month focuses on self-care, managing stress, and promoting healthy routines. Mr. Anderson, do you have you started any new healthy routines? I have started new healthy what, routines. What's that? Uh, well, for plural? some reason, Did waking waking up at 4.45 a.m. Oh, that's healthy. Uh, I, I don't think it's healthy. <laughs> But but uh, Eric and I have been riding uh, pretty much every morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for when, the last, when you're I think town. we're on week three, three uh, or four. And I have a story to tell okay. because okay. Uh, this past Saturday we went for our <laughs> usual ride. Actually, it was the longer of the two. Yes, yes, um, yeah, yeah. Which is now the norm, by the uh, way. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, uh, coming up Oneida, we weren't too far from here. I got a flat tire. It for, was something else. It, it, was, yeah, loud. it was loud. <laughs> well, I, I keep a lot of pressure in those. <laughs> <laughs> and so Brian says, because you happen to be near me at the time. Yeah, yeah. Ordinarily, he's two miles ahead of me. But that's this, not, this that's particular not moment, true. he was right by my side. He says, "Do you uh, do you have the stuff to fix it, or do you want me to go up and get a car?" Because his car, his bike was fine. And I said, "Well, actually, I have the stuff, and I'd kind of like to see if I can do it." I'm sorry, five, I, did, I didn't really. really five like minutes to... later, he had finished the whole thing <laughs> right in front of my eyes. It was like doing a Sunday brunch on how to repair a pen. <laughs> But I mean, it was as if you did it every day. You're a, you're a, you in your spare time, you fix bikes, don't you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, he's good to have around. He's good to have around. Tomorrow, August 12th, uh, is World Elephant Day. Oh, nice. Since 2012, World Elephant Day has asked that you experience elephants in non exploitive <coughs> and sustainable environments, bless you, Justin, <laughs> where elephants can thrive under care and protection. On World Elephant Day, express your concern, gain and share knowledge, and support solutions for better care of captive and wild elephants alike. Please visit worldelephantday.org. 
And that's all I have time for because I visited that site and there's a lot of information there. Uh, right. And I like elephants. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody likes elephants. I What's think. not to love? Yeah. Pen in your pocket. Yes. I can see what it is from right here. Um, I think it's kind of obvious, but uh, who am I? Who am I? I get a really good view. So yes. I think they're yes. all obvious. YouTube. Have you heard of that? I have. Okay. I don't have to explain it then. Last it's Friday. It's where, where they have pictures, they right? They have moving pictures. Oh. Sometimes talkies with sound. <laughs> Last Friday, we published Steph's top three vacation pens. Did you get a chance to watch that? I did watch that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She did a good job. And she has nice taste in shirts. <laughs> Last Sunday, we published Anderson Pens Sunday Brunch Menu 14, where Brian and I talked about, actually, Brian showed me the seven standard sailor nibs. And sold me three afterwards. So <laughs> this coming Sunday, we will publish Anderson Penn's Sunday Brunch Menu 15 that I called Menu 14. So just be ready for that. And it happened to be with Steph. You weren't here. Yes, I was. Uh, I, I went you to Chicago. Yes, I'm talking past tense because we actually did it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but it won't be published till after this. Uh, you got called to Chicago. Yep. So Steph sat in and we talked about uh, some, of, some of our favorite papers. Uh, put a pin in that because that's going to come up in a minute. Awesome. Can't Thanks wait to see it. it. More news. Lisa and Steph will be on the podcast August 18th. That is one week from today. Awesome. Uh, so one week from today, they're going to be here doing what we're doing. Yep. Can't wait to see that. Uh, do you know anything about this? Uh, yeah. So we've got coming up in uh, at AP Chicago, a uh, two-day in-store nib customization and pen repair event. Uh, Mike and Linda Kennedy from Indie Pen Dance are coming uh to the store. Uh, it's going to be Saturday, August 27th, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Sunday, August 28th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And note that is two hours earlier than our normal Sunday start time. Uh, they're going to be doing nib grinds, pen repairs, uh, first come, first served, uh, new sign-up form each day. So if, uh, if you can't get there one day, you can just sign up the next. Uh, one grind per appointment, two grinds maximum per day, but I would recommend you, if you have other uh, nibs that you want to grind or if you buy something, um, you know, bring some extra things along just in case because if there's nobody there, they will take multiple pens. They can also take them home. Yes, and they can take them home. Um, but, I have to uh, <clears throat> figure out what I want ground because the last time I sent you was my Lamy 2000. Yes. One yep, of them. Yep. Maybe you should do the other one. So uh, I like what you did with that one. So. Well, you're not going to do it the same, are you? That's what I usually do, yeah. Will, will you have two <laughs> pens the same? Yeah. Oh, one's, well, one's, one's, one's steel one's and one's macro. Stainless okay. steel and one's macro. So. Okay. Uh, this is coming up now. Yeah, so that's coming up in uh, what, uh, a couple weeks. Yeah, the 27th, Saturday 27th. Big to do in Chicago. So, and, it, and it's cool to watch Mike do the repairs and watch Linda grind the nibs. And, uh, it's, it's, it it's, is a show. It, it is itself. super cool. Yeah. 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 Um, and then there's this. Yeah, so, uh, so now through uh, this coming Sunday, August 14th, uh, at AP Chicago, there is a Chicago sales tax holiday going on. So sales tax is uh, now just five and a quarter percent on items for student use. Right. That's it's it's a back to school type sales mm -hmm. tax holiday where the sales tax has been lowered by five percent. Yes. And so is now only five and a quarter percent. Uh, and basically, anything in the store qualifies. Yeah, it qualifies as, as, a as school use. School use. So yeah. you just have to. Uh, Say you're going to use it. Yeah, you have, it has to be for a student. Yes, right? it has yeah, to be yeah. for a student. Um, but uh, that can be a significant difference. Because yes. everyone yeah, yeah. wants to send their student to school with an emperor. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big chunk of change. <laughs> well, that or, or uh, Lisa just got in a new shipment of Midori. So, you know, nice paper. Oh, and that's great like paper. That. Yeah. 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 So. Um, I have another ink. Okay. Ink what do we got this week? week? Um, Something. This is Bungle Box Diamine Sunshine Yellow. This is Bungle Box Diamine Sunshine Yellow, otherwise known as Diamine Sunshine Yellow, picked this week by our very own Justin behind okay. the camera. Wow. Uh, and it is something. It is uh, bright, cheerful yellow, uh, sometimes almost orange. Yeah, it looks orange to me. Uh, the, light orange. The, this is absolutely light orange. Uh, this actually looks orange to me, too. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. maybe the sun is orange as it's setting, you know. Uh, but it's legible. Mm -hmm. It is legible. Yep. Uh, no show through, no feathering, good flow, cleanup of two. Okay. Which is very easy cleanup. Very easy, yeah. Um, I don't know what I would use that for, but it is legible and it is fun. Maybe a, a letter to somebody. Sure. So, yeah. um, comes in a ginormous 80 mil bottle. 80 mil, yeah. Um, 
and uh, we have, of course, the samples at three. Three mil samples, yeah. Um, but um, if you like that color, this is going to last a while. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. this eighty mil of anything lasts. Well, yeah, maybe not alcohol, yeah. but yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't look like that big of a you know eighty mil in that bottle. Doesn't look like eighty mil, but it's well, I didn't measure it. Yeah, I'm taking their word for no, it. No, 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 <laughs> absolutely, yeah, yeah. Why couldn't the sailor do his alphabet? He got lost at sea. Brian. Yes. Let's talk about Justin. Let's, yes. These are just it. These are just <laughs> Penlux Masterpiece Delgado in moss, finally. Now, the pictures look great. This, they look even better in, in person. This is the best one yet. This is the best this one the yet. the best one yet. And they've all been very nice. They're uh, it's beautiful material. Oh, and you're posting yours. See, I, I wouldn't post this. I do, it's I don't postable. Need to post it. it's, it's a really postable. nice postable link. You like to post. I yes. don't care to post. Uh, but uh, no law says I have to post. No, no, no. Yeah. And this one I don't have to post. Yeah, it works. Yep. Beautiful pen. Tell me everything you know about it. Uh, well, introducing the Penlux Masterpiece Delgado Fountain Pen in the Rich Moss Color. Uh, features an acrylic barrel and a cap of swirling rich greens with gold-plated trim inspired by forest growing moss. Gold-plated stainless steel Yovo number no. 6 nib gives a smooth writing experience, and the smaller body with the piston filling system makes this a terrific value, but still a generous pen in your hand. Nib options in the Penlux Masterpiece Delgado are fine, medium, broad, and a 1.1 stub. So it's a piston filler. It's a piston I'm filler. i that right now. Yep, yep, piston filler. It looks great. Uh, it is by far my favorite Delgado so far. It is gorgeous. Yeah. And I, I, I'm not a huge fan of greens, but this one. It's a nice green. Is, is it, a they very really nice green. nailed the, the, the color uh, in line with the trim. It just really looks great. Yeah. It it's, is gold trim. It is gold trim. It is yes. gold trim. Yes. Uh, uh, not my preferred trim, but it matches. It's, it matches. It's fantastic. That was the correct choice. It's a perfect, choice. perfect choice. Perfect, yeah. Correct yeah. choice. Um, 1.1 stub, huh? 1.1, 1. 1, yeah. That would be fun. The piston. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm. I could, got an I appetite. Could, I could use a little snack. Just want to mention that we got some more of this in. Uh, this is the third time, and yes. we still have not been able to sample it out because it flies off the shelf. Mm-hmm. So help yourselves. Uh, it is, of course, uh, Pelican Edelstein Ink of the Year Appetite, uh, a blue green turquoise color that pays homage to the phosphate mineral Appetite, fifty milliliter. Beautiful, beautiful bottle, yep. beautiful bottle. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I don't expect them to stick around, but if one does, we will sample yeah, it out, and perhaps yeah. it'll be an ink of the week. Maybe we'll get to that. We've had notes added here. Uh, much, you to your, added. much to your chagrin. You take it away, my um, So we got a couple things that are coming soon. They're um, coming so soon, I didn't know about them he, when I walked he in. He literally in. didn't, yeah, he, he I, got I the notice know. as he was pulling That's up to the store. <laughs> uh, everybody uh, saw the, pretty much, probably already knows the announcement, the Twisby Eco Green glow. Green glow. Does it glow in the dark? It glows in the dark. Ah, yes. So it kind of looks. Popular. It looks kind of like the jade, but it glows. But it, it glows, glows in, the in the dark. dark. Yeah. So that's coming soon. Um, that's going to be toward the end of the month. Okay. That that launches. This month. Uh, this month. Yes. Okay. Uh, and also, Faber Castell launched uh, two new announced two new ambitions. Uh, one, a blue resin. So if you're familiar with the black resin and the way that the barrel looks, uh, it's not pure black. This is a blue resin, which is really very nice. Uh, and their new op art for the season, uh, calling it Autumn Leaves, Autumn Leaves, is very nice. A nice dark brownish orange. That's going to be a nice one. It's, well, it's it really nice. It is for nice. the season, isn't it? Yes. So uh, those are uh, the Autumn Leaves come in extra fine, fine medium. Uh, the blue resin will come an extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and both will come also with an optional uh, ballpoint. So those are coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Will the Twisby be by the end of the month? Twisby will be by the, by the end of the month. Yeah. Faber Castell. Yep. Uh, Faber Castell. As soon as they can ship it to me. As soon as they can ship it to you. Look what I found. Look at that. This I believe is called plum. That's the plum. Plum teal body cap and section with plummy red uh, finials. This is, a, this is my favorite. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous And the pen, reason yeah. we're talking about the Sailor Pro Gear Mono limited edition sets uh, is because we got more. Yes. They were sold out. Yep. Yeah, they sold out, and I, I ordered some immediately. Um, also got the Willow. The Willow was sold out. The Plum uh, yep. was sold out. I think the Nuts was sold oh, this out. Is, this is the Nuts. I'm sorry. Nuts. This is the Nuts. This is the yep. Yeah. Yes. Willow so. Pale Lavender Barrel with yes. cap and section and finials in teal green. Yeah. 
That's a pretty one too. It is. Those are nice. This 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 one is great. It's not. That's your favorite, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. It's got this really cool transparent section. This lavender one though, with That's... the finials and the section that match. It's tough. That's a nice one too. That's a nice one. Yeah. I think I need one of each. And then they have little special something on the on each, each one finial, is different. So this one's one got this one's got a nut. Uh, and then this I've got one has this. A, a flower. This one has something else. Mm -hmm. They're all different. They're very, they're very good. Yes. What nib sizes do they come? In? Uh, available in these are slims. Available in 14 karat gold with uh, rhodium plating. Uh, well, that's not true. Some of them are rhodium. Some of them are gold. But they're available in fine, medium, fine, and medium. I imagine the the nibs will match the trim. The nibs will match the trim. That's correct. Yes, yes, yes. There's two fish in a tank. One turns to the other and asks, how do you drive this thing? Brian. Yes. I bet you don't remember <laughs> what the contest was last week. I, I, <laughs> I don't know why I can't remember this week to week, but I don't remember what it was. It was uh, just a choice, nothing to count. Okay. Between two inks. Ringing a bell yet? Uh, Bungo Box, June Bride, something blue. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> Ebon. Uh, Cacao de Brazil. Cacao de Brazil. Oh, okay. The last two inks of the week. Because, and this came up because I said, on a Sunday brunch, we're going to play for the Cacao de Brazil. And from across the store, someone said, what, what about June Bride? And so uh, there was a brouhaha. And it has been settled. <laughs> it because, has been settled. Uh, okay. Uh, people have, now, there, there are, you can come down on either side of this. Obviously, yeah. you like one or you like the I other. Sometimes you like June both. June Bride's going to be the winner. You'd be wrong. June Bride got 32% of the vote. What? And Cacao de Brazil got 68%. I mean, you know what I think? That's a good ink. Cacao de Brazil is a beautiful color. But I think June Bride didn't get enough because Bungu Box just, it doesn't have that trans traction that Cacao de Brazil has had for so many years. People looked at the picture side by side and made a decision. And <laughs> what many people said about Cacao de Brazil so, is that it is unusual, <laughs> okay. that it is dusty, lovely, calming, and unique. And okay. I think unique gets it there. Okay. Uh, let's look at some comments. Let's. Uh, we're going to start with Arabella Holzapfel. If I had to choose only one of those inks to use for the rest of my life, I would go with June Bride. Yeah. Uh, because I like looking at it best based on Justin's visuals. But if I wanted to be able to read what I write for the rest of my life, I would go with <laughs> Cacao de Brazil. And happy birthday, Steph. Shh. Uh, Emily Snope says, I have bottles of both and love them both, but I guess I, I like uh, June Bride a bit better. Awesome. Someone on my side of the camp. Uh, Daniel St. Marie says, hey guys, your videos never disappoint. Uh, June Bride would be my choice for the two, of the two. Now I am off to have a chocolate chip cookie, if you recall. It was chocolate, chocolate chip, chip cookie, cookie day. day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mary Hodges says, no matter how interesting a brown ink might be, I would always have to go with blue. <laughs> there <laughs> Which we go. is understandable. Yes, it's understandable. yes. There are very few browns that... Uh, Richard Smith says, by yeah. all means, uh, the Bungo Box blue is the better looking color. By the way, I thoroughly enjoy the jokes done by uh, Ink Bottle Dude. So that's oh, yeah. Justin, in case people didn't know it. Uh, now we'll go away from blue. Uh, oh, oh Kelly. You, you stack the deck and there's going to be like... Well, I, put, I put some in some. 17 yeah, just, Cacao de Brazil. I'll get you okay. chair. Uh, Glenn Kelly says, uh, Erbon Cacao de Brazil. I could use it in any situation, but the observant would know it was something special. And that's true. That's true. A person who didn't know anything about inks would just see it and... It's not it's a regular a brown. It's not and a regular someone brown. someone who was paying attention would say, oh, there's something special about that. Harold Merringer, I like the Urban Cacao de Brazil best, mainly because I can read it. Hmm. Uh, while the June Bride is a pretty shade, it's too hard to read. Happy birthday, Steph. Uh, Ulrike Misen Schurman says, of course I prefer Cacao de Brazil because the other one makes me blind. <laughs> and it is kind of bright. <laughs> it is kind of bright. <laughs> uh, Justin Martin says, this podcast is detrimental to my credit card. I paused the video midstream to buy a Visconti Rembrandt and Diamine Inc. Justin, you should try being on the podcast. <laughs> it's even worse. It has happened. You have some, yes, at the end. Yes, you've, yes. Uh, no joke. Justin then stuck around for the contest and votes for Cacao de Brazil. 
Here's what I enjoyed very much. Okay. Susan Fleming says, My choice would be Cacao do Brasil because, for some reason, the understated elegance of it reminds me of Eric. I assume she means me. This Eric. Yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe it's... <laughs> don't know. Don't know. Don't. Off the air. <laughs> uh, Rich Johnson says, Great podcast. I prefer them both. But... If you were to shake me down for my lunch money, I'd go with Cacao de Brazil. Rich, if we were going to shake you down for your lunch money, we'd want the lunch money and not your vote for this. <laughs> also says, if you ever get a chance to go bike touring or bike packing, especially in the North Woods, you will come across a restroom, in quotes, in the woods, and you'd be amazed how many people actually do sleep in them while out bike packing and, and, and backpacking. So, see, it does happen. It okay. Does happen. We have a winner as well. Great. Who's our winner? Our winner is... Shia Shun Shu. Shia Shun Shu. Confetti, please. Ta -da. Cacao de Brazil for me. I have too many blue inks, especially on Monday. On Monday? That's true. Was Monday a blue ink day? It's uh, Monday blues. Monday blues. Monday okay. blues. Mondays are blue. I have some follow up comments. Oh, uh, uh, Shia Shun Shu, please write to me, Eric, at AndersonPens.com, and we will get $20 credit onto your Anderson Pens account. Uh, congratulations. A follow up comment. Uh, Nix G says, Eric, what a beautiful, elegant shirt. I just had to throw that in there because that's the second time. <laughs> elegant and my name is <laughs> Wow. We mentioned last week about traveling with ink. We, we had a quick conversation about mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. And Hoyt Robertson says, so traveling with pens while you're flying, how does one, one, keep a pen from burping other than not inking them, and two, protect against the possibility that the pen will in fact burp? I'll go first, then you can give us your expert okay. expert opinion. Uh, I don't empty my pens. I, I keep them uh, in my backpack that goes to my seat with me, and then I put them upright in the seat pocket in front of me. And I have, knock on wood, not had a problem. I usually try to prepare my pens. If I know I'm going, if I'm flying, I try to prepare them, because I'm usually not taking 20, I'm taking three or four. Uh, but in lieu of that, I try to make sure they're completely full. And I will do something similar, but I will have the uh, my, my pen case open. I usually bring a paper towel. And then I, if there's one I'm particularly concerned about, I will open it up and I will stand there with the with the paper towel just to make sure if it comes out, then I can wipe it down. But um, usually I don't worry too much about it. No, I haven't had problems in plans. And, and uh, well, I do make them stand up, right? Mm -hmm. The one place I did have a problem uh, was the pens were in my backpack, but I was driving over the Rockies. Through the Rockies, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I had, that, well, that was messy. And, and people people won't think of that, because that happened to Lisa and I the first time we went to the L.A. Pen Show. We drove through the Rockies, and we got there, and we got to the show, and we have a we had a 48-pen case full of testers. Oh. And we started picking them out and handing them to customers, and each one was uh, all inky messy, messy, and messy, messy. messy. Yeah, yeah so. I don't know why that's worse than flying. Cause it, it's very gradual. It's very but, gradual, but... I, I, I guess I don't know. And Tim Chi says there are some pens with shutoff valves that I think would be okay for air travel. Mm -hmm. Pilot A23, Twisby Vac 700R, Namiki Emperor, uh, to name a few. Eric and Brian, <laughs> would you agree? I'm getting on a plane in mid-August, and these are my planned pens for vacation. Stay well, mid-August. I hope this reaches you. Yes, a shutoff valve works. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In fact, in fact, when the first time we went, when when like literally all the pens leaked. Except for the Except back 700. For, yeah, the shutoff valve. Like, we'll oh, okay. Every oh, yeah. single time. It's Guess what? That was a really good show for back 700 sales. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new contest. Great. And this came about because, as I've mentioned, Steph and I already did the Sunday brunch for this mm -hmm. coming Sunday, and we talked about our favorite papers. And what came up was I said, if I have a, a choice, I have a, a preference for white paper uh, because paper... Well, it comes in all kinds of colors, but generally these papers it's are either white or some other not white, mm -hmm. ivory or something like that. Um, so this week's question is, regarding stationery, what you're going to write on with your fountain pens, which do you prefer, white or something that is cream, ivory, or not quite white? Uh, because some people do prefer that. Mm -hmm. uh, Steph mm -hmm. even said sometimes it gives her ink... Uh, more something. I forget what she said. Yeah, like uh, brown ink on, on ivory will make it a little more vintage feel to it. Yeah. Uh, um, but I like, the reason I, two reasons I like white paper is A, it's easier for me to see the, what's, the true what's color. written yeah. and the true color. It shows yeah. the, it shows me what I think the ink looks like. And so that's all you have to do to enter. Do you have a preference? 
I, I guess I would. I mean, if if I had to make one choice for the rest of my life, I guess I would go with white. But I'm not. I'm not really picky. So uh, if I've got a notebook and it's You're off white picky, or ivory, if, if they said for the rest of your life, you you yeah, you'd because I would want to see the the real true color. And sometimes okay. then we're we're amending the question. If you had to use one paper color for the rest of your life, would it be white? <laughs> Or would it be some cream ivory off-white? Uh, just let me know in the comment section of this video and we'll pick a random winner for a $20 gift certificate next week. Only I won't be here. How are we going to do that, I wonder? We'll have to work that You're out. You're not going to be here next week? No, it's going to be at least in Steph. Oh, so well, they're going to have to figure Steph it out. Steph will let everybody know Steph, who won. Steph's in charge. Steph's in charge. That's scary. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Yes. As previously mentioned, something new is coming from Estherbrook that we absolutely cannot talk about. That's so correct. Let's not talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I, I will say this much. Watch for an email on Friday, August 19th. That's one week from tomorrow. That's all we can say, really. Yeah, that's about it. That's it. That's it, yep. But you have something else there, something I, about uh, Diamine. I do. So um, we uh, have a huge number of new to Anderson pens, uh, Diamine inks coming in. Uh, I saw that. I saw there's a, yes, a big number. It's a, it's a big number. It's a big yeah. Number. So um, primarily uh, the red and blue edition ink vent, 50 milliliter bottles. Okay. So those are from the past, from past years. Um, and so there's... Um, now these are not ink vent calendars. These are the... No, these are the actual bottles, in... but they're in 50 milliliter bottles. Okay. So they're in a bigger bottle than what they would have been in the calendar. Um, so we've got the red and the blue, which is, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. And they come in those cool, cool bottles with the, with the little feet on them. Oh, it's the bottles with the feet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that's a yeah, reason yeah, to yeah. buy them right there because yes. those yeah. are cool. Yeah. Uh, and there are, uh, more shimmer Uh, and then there's a couple other stragglers that for some, some reason we had slipped hadn't. by. Yeah. yeah. That I hadn't even heard of. So, uh, there's, I think the number was about 60, that's 60 new I inks. I, 60 I, new I counted inks. 60. Yeah. And that's a lot. That's it is a lot. That should be coming any day. Any day. Uh, and then uh, our, our poor, uh, our poor part timer is going to be doing the ink samples. And uh, well, it's not just the ink samples. It's the descriptions have to be put yep, in, yep. and then oh, yeah. the images have the to images. be sourced, found, and yeah, it's to add sixty at one time is is quite. Well, it's a, really one hundred and twenty because it's yeah samples because you have to do the samples. Too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, am I going to have to do sixty ink of the weeks? Inks of the week, maybe inks of the week. Well, there's bound to be something come in in the next year that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's one a week. So new diamine coming soon, um, and then that should pretty much. I'm looking forward to the the bottles with the feet. Yes. For some reason the packaging yes. appeals to me. Yeah. I wanted to say something about Hobonichi. I know we've been talking a lot about Hobonichi, but it is getting it's, close. It's really getting close now. So we got even more information this week than we had last week. Uh, you might know more than I do. I'm going to say that Hobonichi 2023 product lineup will be revealed on August 25th in Japan. That's which correct. Probably means that. The full lineup will be available for viewing on Anderson Penn's website the evening of August 24th. That's Wednesday, two weeks from yesterday. It's yeah. really getting yeah. close here. Yeah, and they're, they're going to be shipping pretty soon. So uh, Whatever time they do things in Japan, it usually corresponds to 9 p.m. the 9 day PM, before yeah. here. So if that happens, you'll just turn everything on. Yep. Uh, and if you are subscribed to our mailing list, which you should be, you'll receive a mailer the morning of the 25th. That's two weeks from today, as a matter of fact, uh, that will introduce you to the 2023 lineup with all the links to all the products. Now, you can't buy it at that day. This yep. is just a preview. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, that's true. That's, um, that's correct. Yep. But the sales will begin at 9 p.m. Central on August 31st, which, which is, is the first... 11 a.m. Yeah, in Japan. And that's Japan time. three weeks from yesterday you can actually start buying, but uh, two weeks from today you can see what's there. And... At that point, you can sign up for in-stock notifications for, for the items you actually specific want. Specific ones, yes. yes. Yeah. 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 And there are some good items. It's, it's a good lineup this year. It really I feel really is. bad because I've seen them. Yeah. Uh, pictures. I've seen <laughs> yeah. pictures. Yeah. But I'm not allowed to say anything. No. no uh, one no. thing that uh, we are allowed to say is that we're getting, uh, for new this for this year, is the five-year planner in A5 size and one has yes. my name on it. Yes. Because I did use, uh, purchase the uh, five-year planner in A6. 
uh, and they just want you to write a couple lines mm-hmm, every mm-hmm. day, uh, and I need like four, and it wasn't big enough for me. So I'm hoping that the A5, A5, size. A5 size will be perfect for me. And there will be covers, too, for, for, for both these. A5 and A6 yeah. five-year. And they are separate yes. covers from the usual because they're, they're, these are they're thicker. slightly different. Yeah, they're slightly these, thicker. These are thicker. Yeah. So, uh, so I would uh, suggest that you sign up for back-in-stock notifications for the one Hobonichi holding product that we have on the website now so that you get notified as soon as he makes them yep. visible yeah, as soon as live and, and can... sign up for um, our mailer uh, at the bottom of any page at Anderson Pens. Is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. Still correct. Yep. Still correct. Still correct. And that's all I have to say this week about Hobonichi. But as we get closer, because you know, I've got like five things yes. that I have to have. Yeah, it's, uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't shipped yet, but uh, uh, they've been in contact. They have confirmed our order, which is great. They confirm um, the order. It's a bigger order than last year, and last year was a bigger order than every year before. Yeah. So, um, they're gonna. And, and if you if you're local and you want to come in the store, you can see them all in person, and they're going to be. But we cannot sell. We them cannot sell them. Yeah, until yeah, they yeah. start selling. But at least you'll be able to see them because some yeah. of them have a really, especially some of the weeks they have cool fabric covers and. Be you careful know. what you give away. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah, some some of the things uh, I do want to see in real yeah. life because what what is that? Um, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. So why don't we just. That's it. it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Oh, uh, do I have a line there? Oh, you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Is there a store in Chicago? There is a store in Chicago. It's on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. Open seven days a week. You'll see me there next week. Next, next week, weekend. Yep. Lisa will be here mm-hmm. in front of this camera. Does the uh, store in Chicago have a website? Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Excellent. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Did we? Okay. Yeah, it's there. The pen in Brian's pocket. That's a Fresca. Sailor 1911 Fresca King of Pen. That's beautiful. Yes. That's a, uh, see, that's a big pen. That is a big pen. The, these uh, were discontinued. They were discontinued uh, about a year ago. About a year ago, uh, this they month, came yeah. in 1911 standard, standard large, large King of pen. and King of Pen, and mm-hmm. you got the King of Pen, and yeah. that is a substantial. Pen. That was literally the last Fresca King of Pen we had, and it's such a, a unique color. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very you nice. Just don't find them like that anymore. I think I had words of wisdom. What was it? Oh yeah, who is Smith's son Ian, and why does he get his own museum? Bye. <laughs>